Okay, I got a new gadget pouch today. This is from Amazon Basics. It's their travel case for small electronics and accessories. It runs $10.49 on Amazon. It's nine and a half inches in height. It's five and a quarter inches across. And it's 1.88 inches thick. And on first look, I just got it today. Just had it out for a few minutes. It's a very inexpensive cardboard wrapped um, case with some very inexpensive nylon. Very, very, very cheap. Um, not even sure if what the denier would be on something like this. Um, but I can tell you it's really, really, really thin and expensive. It's got a couple of zipper pulls. Um, and the, the zipper pulls are nice to touch. They're nice rubbery zipper pulls. But the zippers themselves are very small. You can see here that the zipper metal only runs up to about the Z on the word Amazon. And all the rest is just rubber. So if it ever cracks or breaks, you're going to have a really tiny little zipper pull to hold on to. Anyway, moving on. In the what I would consider to be the upper corner of the bag, they stuck this um, lanyard and this little cheap D-ring. Very, very cheap. Would not trust this with my electronics, um, especially out in cold weather. Um, very inexpensive. Um, they should have, you know, charged a couple extra pennies and really beefed that up. Um, anyway, okay. So on the back, you have a little slip pocket. And it's very loose already. Right out of the box. Haven't put anything in here. Very loose, you can see. So with use, that is just going to stretch out um, massively. Uh, you know, for some people, this might work out as a really nice little gadget pouch for, you know, a little over 10 bucks. I'm used to Maxpedition gear, so, you know, I was kind of, you know, I kind of expected the quality, you know, it's going to not be so good for something for 10 bucks. Come on, you know, be realistic. But, and I'm not trying to just totally pick on this bag and not say that it's not useful um, because it is. But informed choice. I want you to have an informed choice. So I'm going to point out all the stuff that I found that I didn't like with the bag or I thought was deficient with the bag. Um, starting out with the shoddy construction of the bag. Um, <laughs> as you can see, the material is, you know, just wavy. It's puffing up. It's not even glued down here at all in this section of the bag. Um, it was kind of just, you know, jammed together here. Um, kind of a crappy corner um, as compared to the other sides a little bit better. But again, not really glued down. You know, it's the stitching, is, it's wavy. Um, the material is not the same thickness um, around. One side of the bag is thicker than the other side of the bag. Um, you know, the zippers are cheap, inexpensive zippers like you'd expect. But again, the construction, if you follow along here, the material starts out thick, then it drops down super, super thin, then it comes back up thick again, and then the material itself is just wavy. Okay, and then here, it wasn't even like, there's like a massive indentation, like they glued right here and pressed it in, and then the rest of it wasn't. Um, again, just shoddy construction. The bag is actually thicker on this side and thinner on this side. <laughs> um, so I find that to be kind of kind of bad. You can see some wrinkles and stuff in it from it not being glued down properly. But again, for 10 bucks, what do you want? All right, let's check out the inside, shall we? open her up and then boom on the inside you have this bright orange which is cool you know you're gonna be able to find your stuff you know nice and bright in there you're not looking into total jet black um, on this side of the bag you have a, a mesh um, pocket here uh, there is three major deficiencies with this mesh pocket in my opinion the first being it is way too loose it's way too sloppy for brand new out of the box um, it should have had way better tension. You can see it's actually pulling on the sides of the cardboard on the bag. You can see here it's kind of pulling in. Okay, so uh, it has a tension across the bag, but with cheap and expensive cardboard, that's not saying a lot. But it's very loose. The second thing is, in my opinion, they put it on the wrong side of the package. If you look at the, the case, the logo is on the front of the what you consider to be the front. And then when you open it up, you know, the mesh is right here. Well, once you put your electronics in there, <laughs> that thing's going to be hanging down like crazy when you're whenever you're opening it and stuff. It's just going to be, 
real sloppy. If you have only one or two electronics in here, they're going to be sliding all over back and forth, banging into each other. Um, they should have put some Velcro. So you could peel it off, stick your stuff in, and then if you only have some things in here, you could Velcro it down. I'll show you that once I put some stuff in here. On the other side, you have this weird kind of mesh open pocket up here. Very, very big, very loose already. That's going to, again, it's going to stretch out like crazy. They should have put some Velcro there too, you know, in case you're putting smaller items in there. Okay, it has a couple of little zipper pockets. And when I mean little, I mean little. <laughs> um, I have very small hands. And the first pocket is only two sections of my finger deep. So the first two segments of my finger is how deep that is. Which, since you don't have the same size hands as me, <laughs> let me put a little tape measure in here so we get a little more accurate measuring than my finger. Uh, I would say just under two inches. You gotta have room for the zipper to close. So just under two inches in depth. The next one is even smaller, about a little shy of an inch and a half, because it's actually about one finger, one finger and a half section. <laughs> so they're very, very small. Okay? And then they finally did use some Velcro here on this weird cardboardy swing out section. And I mean weird because I think their whole hinge system here is a bent piece of cardboard. Okay, but anyways, you open it up, and then you have another mesh pocket. Again, they were smart and put Velcro here. The only problem um, with the Velcro here is they put the rough side toward the front. So whatever you put in here, you'd have to face toward the back so you wouldn't be scratching it on the rough side, the loop side, um, or the hook side. Um, but at least they put some, some thought in that, put some Velcro. And then for some reason, this pocket is not attached. It's open. It's very, very loose. You know, at first I thought, well, maybe it's for bigger items if you're going to put a bigger item in here. But if you put a bigger item in here, how are you going to slip it behind there? So I don't really understand why that pocket is the way that it is. But anyway, the next thing I noticed with my maiden chain of gear is down toward the bottom here, if you can see it, they put the material over a couple little pieces of crap that got in here. They just glued right over it, went right over it. Um, to me, that's um, that's just crappy. That's just really crappy, not considering, you know, brushing that off before you glued this down. Um, but again, 10 bucks. A lot of features for 10 bucks. You know, small pockets, need some work. But let's, let's load some stuff up in here and see... Let's use it for its intended use first and see what we get out of it. So here's a PowerGen external battery charger. And I'm going to load this in heavy stuff on the bottom because I've already done this with the bag and don't want to mess anything up. That's a pretty large external battery and it just fits in there perfectly, so that's cool. And then we'll put my iPod in there. And then just to show you, to give you an idea of what I was talking about, Okay, you have you have two items in here. Boom, they're sliding around. If you jostle this around, and I don't know how you guys are carrying your bags and stuff, and you throw them and toss them down on a chair or whatever, that's what's going on to your electronics on the inside. Not really liking that. Now, one simple little piece of Velcro, nothing. They're not going anywhere. They're not sliding around. They're not banging into each other. Without it, they're just right there. So there's a quick fix if you're going to keep the bag, which I am going to keep the bag for 10 bucks. It's not worth shipping back. But there, now you got your three in there. You used up, so you've solved the banging around problem. Okay, here's the next problem. When you close this, here's your logo. You would assume this is the front of the back. Okay, you sit down. You go to open up your stuff. Look at that. <laughs> there is like no tension on that mesh pocket already. And it's brand new. To me, very bad design concept. You put the mesh on the wrong side of the bag, on the front of the bag. You shouldn't have done that. You should have went on this side of the bag. So if we reversed it and said that it was on this side of the bag, here's the front part. Now you don't have that problem. Okay? So simple, simple design flaw. Could have just fixed that by switching these around. Okay? So there you go. So again, 
keep that in mind. I'll be using this as the front. <laughs> All right, so what else can you put in there? All right, here's a little cheap charger for my iPod. Here's a little charger for my battery pack. We'll slide it in the little zipper here, and that's all that's going to fit in there. Very, very small. And then all I could find for this little tiny pocket down here that would fit and that I use a lot would be little SD cards. They will fit in there just perfectly. So this might be good for a camera bag. Okay, close that up. Okay, then here's your little smart piece of Velcro here. We'll open this up and let's see, what can we put back there? Let's put another big item so you can see the, the thickness going on. But you can put some thicker stuff in here. Here's another external battery pack. It's pretty thick. And slide it in there. Okay. I'll throw that down. Okay, that's sticking up a little past the height of the, the, the bag. Everything here is perfectly flush sits down in there perfect. So this is a little thicker but it will still close and zip. You know obviously it just affects the profile a bit thicker here and thinner here because you're jamming it in there and you know makes it a little better for the rigidness. Um, there's no padding in this bag so you're not getting any protection at all by any type of padding. The only protection you're getting is from the cardboard. <laughs> Um, so again, I'd be very careful what you're using this for and how you're throwing it around. Okay, so that's the intended use was small electronics and accessories. Let's see what else we can do. What else we can put in here? You know, you could use this for whatever you want. You know, we all know bags are they're said for one purpose, but we use them for anything we can possibly think of. First aid kits, survival kits, camera bags, gadget bags. You know, um, again, this back pocket here too behind the Velcro, the one that has the Velcro, okay? There's no Velcro holding that in right now, it's just sitting in there. So if you happen to turn this over inside your pack, it's going to come right out. It slides right out. You can slide it right in from there. So, just something to, to point out. Let's put this stuff up here. Here's the, the first intended use we tried. Okay, put the Excuse me. Okay. Let's see what else we can put in here. How about a uh, how about a face mask? Let's put a face mask up in there. How about uh, how about some batteries? Here's some CR123s still in the package. Let's put some batteries in here. Okay. How about a uh, how about a one moleskin notepad? Maybe you gotta write and write somebody a note. Put that in there too. Okay. How about uh, how about a little mirror? You know, maybe you need to check yourself out then. Let's put a little mirror up here. You know, oh, maybe you just don't, you brought the wrong batteries. Let's put some more batteries in there. Put a pack of triple A's in there. How about some, how about some Kleenex? Maybe you gotta blow your nose at some point in the day. Put some Kleenex in there. How about, uh, maybe you gotta sharpen your knife. Let's put a Smith sharpener in the zipper, zipper part. Uh, let's see, what else can we put in there? How about some chapstick? Huh? Winter months, summer months, need some chapstick. Put some chapstick down in the little zipper pocket. And then, how about your little back pocket here? How about a little emergency blanket? Okay. There you go. Now you got your little little doodads in there, little little things you might need throughout the day. Again, it's your imagination. I'm sure people are going to come up with a ton of uses for this bag. Uh, for ten bucks, you know it does hold some stuff. For ten bucks, you got here's the second second amount. And this isn't jam packed. This was just a you know give you different ideas of stuff that will fit in here. And again, you'll be able to come up with tons of stuff to put in here. So, you know, you got a couple of different things we tried. Okay. Okay. So, overall, what do I think? For 10 bucks, it's not worth shipping back. Um, if I knew it was like this before I bought it, would I have 
purchased it. Mm, I don't know. I, that I'm not quite sure about. Um, I think if I could have found something probably a little more rigid um, with a little better design, I, I might have probably gone a different route. Now that I have it, yeah, I'm going to keep it um, and I'm going to modify it. I'm going to put some Velcro here and I'm going to put some Velcro here to fix these problems. Um, I don't want my stuff banging around. Um, I, you know, that will work for when there's two items in here. Uh, when there's three items in here, not quite sure how I would actually fix that. I'm going to have to think on that for a little bit. Like I said, I just got it. Um, again, some more bad glue job. Um, but, you know, it, I've, I've actually purchased a couple of Amazon basic things, so I was kind of surprised um, that this was kind of, you know, hastily designed or hastily put together. Um, because, you know, I got a shredder from them, and the thing is amazing. It eats paper like it goes out of style, uh, and a lot of it at one time. And I've never had a problem with it. Um, you know, this even just sitting here, I'm looking at it, and again, it's just so badly made. The cardboard's already warped here on the bottom. It sticks out here, and it sucks in on this side. So, you know, if you're going to be nitpicky about it, yeah, you might not be happy with it. You know, but for 10 bucks. Like I said, a little over 10 bucks. It'll work for me. I'll make it work. Um, I'll do whatever modifications I need to do. It does smell. There was a lot of people who talked on the reviews about it being stinky. Um, it's not severely stinky. I've had some really weird, very harsh smelling stinky stuff come from some foreign countries. And tried everything, bleach, vinegar, all kinds of stuff, you know, for rubbery type, like phone covers. And it, you could never get rid of the smell. It was just the materials it was made out of. Um, with this being nylon and cardboard, and this is kind of like a like a felty type material back here, um, you'll probably have better luck getting rid of the smell. I'm going to throw in um, some dryer sheets in here for probably about a week <laughs> and close this up. And I'll probably shove one in the back here too. Um, you know, and that should help. If it doesn't help, you know, being a former smoker, um, I'm not a smoker anymore. Um, you could always loan this to somebody who smokes, and that should really get rid of that smell. <laughs> Not that you'd want to trade one for the other, um, but I'm just kidding. Uh, anyway, you know, you could try a couple things to try and get the, the smell out of there. I think the fabric sheets is probably going to be my best option. But overall, you know, I would score this, you know, probably a four. I mean, just because of the shoddy construction on this thing, you know. What happened to design in America made in China? You know, put a little more effort into the design. You know, especially if you're going to cheap out on the manufacturing. Um, you know, I think the concept of this was a hit for Amazon, but I think the construction and the materials used was not. You know, you, you should redesign this. Um, you could charge a little more money. You know, if you take care of a couple of things, you know, use, use a denser cardboard or use, you know, a little padding in it. Um, you know, use some Velcro, use some better quality materials. You know, I know you're trying to supply, you know, some inexpensive things, you know. Not everybody can afford top-of-the-line stuff. It's going to be okay for its intended person. It'll be all right. You know, if you get a year out of this thing, you know, you got your 10 bucks out of it. So, anyways, that's my, my opinion, my review of the Amazon Basic Travel Case for Small Electronics and Accessories. And there you go. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope the information, you know, will help you decide whether or not this is going to work for you and your intended purpose of the bag and what to expect with the quality and the construction. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned. There will be some more videos coming. Um, I have some, my everyday carry bag seems to have, like, been shipped over on a slow boat from China because I don't know where it is. Um, I'm still waiting for that so I can get the... EDC video out uh, on my bag. So until then, thanks for watching. Click like, subscribe, you know, stick around. There'll be some cool stuff coming up. Thanks a lot.